Introduction Rashmi bought two pizzas at a restaurant. Each pizza is cut into six equal slices. Therefore, there are 12 slices. Rashmi has to divide these slices among her three friends and herself. That means there are four friends. She first gives two slices each to her three friends and herself. She is still left with four slices. She gives one more slice to each of her friends and herself. Thus, Rashmi successfully divides the two pizzas equally. In this lesson, we will learn division in detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Divide numbers using division facts Recognize the symbols of division Divide numbers by grouping Divide numbers by using multiplication facts Divide numbers by multiples of 10. Divide numbers by one and two digit divisors and estimate the result of a division operation. Division facts 1. Division is splitting a number into several equal groups. For example, when we divide 6 by 3, we split 6 into 3 equal groups of 2 each. Numbers cannot be divided by zero because it is impossible to split a number into zero groups. Zero divided by any number is zero because when zero is split into groups, the result is also zero. When a number is divided by one, the result is the number itself. One divided by one is one. Two divided by one is two. Three divided by one is three and so on. Division facts 2. Let us learn the division facts of 2 and 3. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Similarly, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now let's look at the division facts of 4, 5 and 6. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Similarly, 18 divided by 6 is 3. Now it's time to know the division facts of 7, 8 and 9. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 56 divided by 7 is 8. 64 divided by 8 is 8. 72 divided by 9 is 8. Division symbols. Look at these symbols. These are division symbols. We use these symbols to indicate a division operation. For example, 4 divided by 2 can be written as 4 divided by 2 or 4 by 2 or 4 upon 2. Division by grouping. There are 15 books. Five books can be packed in one bag. How many bags are required to pack 15 books? Make groups of five books each. Three such groups are possible with 15 books. Hence, three bags will be required to pack 15 books. There are 20 apples. Four apples can be packed in one basket. How many baskets will be required to pack 20 apples? Make groups of 4 apples each. 5 such groups are possible with 20 apples. Hence, 5 baskets will be required to pack 20 apples. Division using multiplication facts. Let us now divide numbers using multiplication facts. What is 18 divided by 3? We can write 18 in the following way. We know 3 multiplied by 6 is 18. 
So, 18 divided by 3 is 6. Similarly, 22 divided by 2 can be written as, we know 2 multiplied by 11 is 22. Therefore, 22 divided by 2 is 11. Division by multiples of 10. The numbers that end with 0 such as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, etc. are multiples of 10. Let us divide 400 by 5. 400 can also be written as 40 into 10. We know 40 divided by 5 is 8. So, 40 into 10 divided by 5 is 8 into 10 or 80. Similarly, let us find the result of 6400 divided by 8. 6400 can be written as 64 into 100. 64 divided by 8, as we know, is 8. So, 64 into 100 divided by 8 is 8 into 100 or 800. Now divide 647 by 10. We recall 10's table and find a number such that the number when multiplied by 10 lies close to 64. 10 into 6 is equal to 60. Subtract 60 from 64 to get 4. Drag 7 down. We have 47. 10 into 4 is equal to 40. Subtract 40 from 47 to get 7. So the remainder is 7. Therefore, we can say that 647 divided by 10 leaves a remainder 7. Division by one digit number. Let us now divide 128 by 8. Since 1 is less than 8, so we will divide 12 by 8. Recall 8's table. 8 ones are 8. 8 twos are 16. 16 is greater than 8. So we use 8 ones are 8. Write 1 above 128. Subtract 8 from 12. Write the answer as 4. Drag 8 down to form 48. Now divide 48 by 8. 8 6 are 48. Write 6 above 128 next to 1. Subtract 48 from 48. The answer is 0. So, 128 divided by 8 is 16. The division leaves no remainder. Division by two-digit number. Divide 866 by 21. Since 8 is less than 21, divide 86 by 21. 21 into 4 is equal to 84. Write 4 above 866 and subtract 84 from 86 to get 2. Drag 6 down to form 26. Now divide 26 by 21. 21 into 1 is equal to 21. Place 1 above 866 next to 4 and subtract 21 from 26 to get 5. 5 is the remainder. Thus, 21 cannot divide 866 exactly. 866 divided by 21 is 41 with the remainder 5. Estimation which is that number that falls between 5 and 10 and is divisible by both 2 and 3? Recall the tables of 2 and 3. What is the number that comes between both 2 and 3? That number is 6. And 6 falls between 5 and 10. So we can say that 6 is the number that can be divided by both 2 and 3. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A number divided by 1 is the number itself. 0 divided by a number is 0. 
Division by zero is not possible. These are the symbols of division. Numbers can be divided using multiplication facts. Division is possible through grouping. It is possible to estimate the result of a division operation.